what is up you guys so um this look is a little bit different i got these clips here so i bought these clips at walmart i believe and they were only like three dollars um can show you a little bit like up close they look like but yeah i've been trying to get into the little clips moment um just to try something new but yeah we're gonna get into it so yesterday i went to the outlet mall well i kind of went off and i bought a lot of stuff um i knew i was going to be going soon so i wanted to save a little bit and i worked very hard i worked very hard to save because saving is not my strong suit by a long shot and um well this time it paid off so i went to a few different stores i um I'll name all the stores that I went to because I still have everything in their bags because I wanted to make sure that I knew exactly what stores, what came from what store. And so I've had it in the bag since uh, yesterday and I can't wait to take it all out and put it away. So we'll just start with the littlest bag from Bath and Body Works. And um, I was so excited. So I've been using this um, little lotion I have in my purse. And it is the Strawberry Pound Cake um, Lotion. And I bought a little tiny tube of it for my purse at one time because I wanted to try it. And I really, really, really ended up like loving it. So when I went to the outlet mall, I was like, okay, I need to stop and get some more of it because I was already running out. So I decided to get the slightly bigger bottle of it and just see Strawberry Pound Cake. This stuff smells amazing it just like i really love like vanilla like cake cupcake kind of scents like sometimes that's like too much for people but for me like that's just what i like i like to smell like a cupcake or like cake or vanilla or you know like just baking scents what I want to smell like. I always want to smell like a cupcake. I'm not sure that I always do smell like a cupcake, but that is the goal 90% of the time. So here we go. So moving on. I also got this um, concentrated room spray and it is in pumpkin cupcake. I love it. And I actually had a pumpkin cupcake candle um, like a couple years ago and it was like my favorite favorite candle of all time and I'm hoping that maybe they just maybe they put it out like more towards November or something because right now they don't have it or maybe it was just for that season I don't know but it was like my favorite candle ever and I was looking for that candle but um they didn't have it so when I saw that they had the room spray I was like okay well, second best you know to a good candle look at the room spray and then i got this caramel vanilla latte lip gloss i mean it just seemed interesting and this was 850 um i haven't tried it yet but i will and then i got this other lip gloss that is in pearl mint it's the mentha shimmer tint 100% natural mint. Hmm, that kind of rhymes. Okay, so this was a seven fifty, and when you open it, it like, I mean, you can smell the mint. Like it is minty. So it is what it says it is. So I just wanted to try these out. I've never tried out lip gloss from um, Bath and Body Works, so I figured why not try it. And they weren't very expensive, so. That is what I got from Bath and Body Works. The next little list bag was from Puma. And um, I ended up getting these slides. So I ended up getting these slides from Puma. They are in a size 8, obviously. And they are kind of like rose gold. 
and they're just super super cute they were only ten dollars um so i was like oh yeah like i'm I'm definitely gonna buy them so um yeah i have some nike ones but a dog kind of chewed chewed on them and they're not as pretty as they used to be but it's okay we're surviving we're thriving so now we got some new slides to go with that but i'm still gonna keep my nike ones don't get crazy i was super shocked because i <laughs> I always go into we always go into the store and I never buy anything but we always go in there so I was like looking around the women's shoes finally because I never really look at the shoes when I'm in there I just kind of like look around at everything else and like or I've seen the shoes but I've just never like really taken an interest in any of them and so I was like well, I guess like I'll just go look around and see what kind of shoes they have and I ended up buying some Nike shoes so I was really excited here's the box and um I saw this pair and then I saw a black pair um that were they weren't very similar to these, but they were like, they were just kind of different and I like those too. Those ended up not working out, but they were also my second choice. So when I tried these on and they ended up working out, I was like, okay, it was meant to be. And these shoes actually, so they were on sale for $39. And then uh, it was like an additional 30% off. So it ended up being $30. I hope that's right. Anyway, I know I ended up paying only $30 for them. And this is them. These are my new shoes. Aren't they cute? Oh, I love them. Normally, I would be like, what is the reason? Like, why do we have this black on the back? But because it just seems so like contrasting, you know? Like, I usually, it's not like, the vibe that I would go for. I would want it to be like all white or all black or all, you know, just one color. But when I saw these, I was just like, I don't know. Like, I just really, really like them. So they're really cute. I love it. That's adorable. And they are super comfortable. So I was like, so so excited when i got them and i had been wanting some new shoes because guys r.i.p to my fila shoes honey she has been through it and they are not as pretty as they once were i'm gonna try to clean them i'm gonna try to do like maybe some you know like getting your white shoes white again hacks or something like I'm hoping there's something I can do to save my poor shoes because girl it's rough like I just they're not even pretty anymore they're like cute shoes but they're so like dingy that it's almost like what is the reason like it's just it just isn't cute anymore but we're gonna try to save her. But for now, I got these new shoes. And unlike the Fila shoes, I should have. I should have kept them in the box, but I didn't. I was like, nah, I'm not a box saver person. Like I think it's extra when people do that, but now I get it. Cause my shoes probably would have looked a lot better if I would've just kept them in the box. But I will be doing that with these. Hopefully they don't get dirty. And if they do, we'll hear another R.I.P. Okay. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. So from H&M, I only got two things. Um, from most of the stores, I feel like I only got two or three things. Because I can, I can honestly say that when I go into a store, any store, any store walmart target every like any shopping store i am going to the sale options i hardly ever buy anything full price and if i do it's because it's like a cheap 
price you know what I mean like I have a really hard time like forcing myself to buy things that are full price that sounds so cheap and this like one little hair is bothering me but like I know that sounds like really cheap or whatever but that's just how I like to shop because I like to get the most for my money you know so like I'm always looking for a sale I'm always looking for a deal I don't barter I don't you know I'm not extra about getting the deal I just go in and try to look for it usually if they don't have a sale I usually won't just I won't buy anything and even when I do find a sale I usually only get like two three things at most unless the sale is like really really good and then I will end up like getting third time I'm trying to say this because my stupid hair was just getting on my nerves okay there's just like little hairs that want to stick up and normally if I was just like not doing a video I wouldn't care but because like I can just see it in the video like it matters you know what I mean and it's just like getting on my nerves so we're just gonna take the clips out anyways so like I said unless the deal is really good then I will probably end up buying more from the store um uh, like I would say like Ross or something I probably go off a little bit more crazy or whatever but even at that like I feel like I do buy a lot but it's usually very good deals you know like I, I'm kind of, I'm like a thrifty shopper, but like I definitely shop a lot. So, but I also feel like I get the most for my money. You know what I mean? So, whatever. So I work at this um, clothing store and we have a um, like turtle, no, it's like a mock neck, uh, like tight fitting cheetah print long sleeve shirt. When I saw that shirt, I was like, oh my gosh, it's amazing. It's the most beautiful shirt I think I've ever seen in my life. But of course it's a small, it just makes me so mad. But it was a small, so I was so mad. And I was like, oh, okay, of course it's a small. But I would just like look at it and just be like, oh, not that shirt so bad and I had no idea where to find one so at one point I was looking for a mock neck um black shirt of like a black long sleeve mock neck shirt but that wasn't ribbed which was super super hard to find super hard to find but I finally found one at a Ross so excited and then I started looking for a cheetah print one because I was like, well, they have that one at work. Maybe I can find it somewhere else. And I even, I looked at the brand of the shirt and I was just like, hmm. Like, I feel like if I went to the website to try to look for it, who knows when they got that shirt, you know, because I, I work at like a, a resale store. So, um, who knows when they got those clothes, you know, so I was just like, no, I don't think it's worth it to like, I'm just <laughs> silently shedding over here, but, um, I don't know when they got those clothes, but like, I feel like even if I did go to the website, it's probably going to be like super expensive. So I was looking around at Ross and I was like, man, like, I hope they have it here. I would look at Walmart. I would look everywhere and I just could not find one. And then every time we go to the outlet stores, I always, always go to H&M, always. And um, I know people have like, different opinions about that store and there's a lot of things about that store that a lot of people don't like but it's some of the only clothes that I know I really love and that are gonna fit me and they usually have like really really good deals so I still shop there sorry um but I went in there thinking okay maybe you know we'll see if they have they, we'll see if they have it in there 
but I was not very hopeful. Silly me. I open the door and the first thing that I see is this cheetah print mock neck shirt. Long sleeves and everything. I was so excited and then I went over there and I was like please have my size uh, and so like I went over there and I was like combing through all of them and then I finally found an XL and I was like so freaking happy but this is it it's just like super simple but like I've been really really into the like mock neck look I just think it's so cute and like very like stylish and just very like classic you know and um especially like with the black or with the cheetah because I feel like a cheetah can be kind of crazy like if you go head to toe cheetah you know then it can be a little bit extra but if it's just like a top or something like I feel like cheetah can be like a neutral you know you know how people consider like denim to be like a neutral like i feel like cheetah could be a neutral you know like it's cute but i was so excited and then they even had like they had another one too they had um what was it it was like a a darker a darker version of this but They had a darker version of this shirt, but uh, when I picked it up, it smelled a little odd. Like, as it, like, like, have you ever ordered something from like one of those sketchy websites and it comes in kind of smelling like it was piled with like a bunch of fish on a boat, you know? Cause like they said, it like it's shipped over here. So I always imagine like literally it's being on a ship. Um, but like, that's what it kind of smells like. I don't know if that makes sense. Like I remember like buying some stuff from like a website like that and it literally came in smelling like a fish. I was a little grossed out. And um, that's kind of what the other one smelled like. So it was like, uh, like I get by far the other one was way cuter, but I was like, um, no even if I could wash it like I just I couldn't get over the smell like it was just a little bit much so H&M get it together but um then I got this one and it doesn't smell bad so I was like super super excited and just I can't wait can you just see it like it's like such a look but yeah so I got that top and it was only ten dollars which was another like score because the one at work is like way, way more expensive so then I don't know I don't know if these are gonna fit I hope they do I don't know if they're gonna look good on me because my midsection my stomach is probably the biggest part of me and um it tends to be that when I wear pants every inch of fabric is just like always so tight there and it usually just doesn't look very good especially with pants like this but when i saw them i was just like well i mean you know maybe maybe it maybe it'll look good i have never tried pants specifically like this because i've always just been like no like that's not gonna look good on me but when i saw these these are on the sale rack for eight dollars so i was like okay we're trying them they're super super wrinkled but they have like the tie around the waist i think they're supposed to be like uh similar to like paper bag jeans um they're not jeans but like the paper bag pant trend like i think that's what they're kind of supposed to be so they go like this i don't yeah they don't they don't really like you know come in at the bottom but they're just they kind of just stay um they just kind of stay wide wide leg well they come in a little bit yeah they come in a little bit at the bottom but yeah so i got these pants and i was like so excited that they were only eight dollars 
and then they were um, a size 14 which I can never never find at H&M like I don't really buy pants from H&M but I buy a lot of tops and I buy a lot of dresses so um and I usually just get like large or extra large or medium sometimes I can fit into their mediums sometimes I can fit sometimes I how am I trying to say it? sometimes I can fit into their mediums but most of the time just mostly now especially for the sake of like I can't try things on I'll just stay safe and go with an extra large unless I can tell like that it is big like it's oversized then like I can fit into a medium you know what I mean so yeah I got these pants and I'm super excited I some who asked me that yesterday uh my mom was asking me like oh so did you buy that as like a little outfit and I thought about it and I was like, no, I don't think I would wear them as an outfit. But I'm like, I don't know. Like, I don't know if they would really, like, go good together. Maybe they would, like, wear these pants with, like, that shirt tucked in, you know? But I don't know. I kind of, when I bought them, I kind of bought them with the vision of pairing them separate, not pairing them together. So we'll see. We'll see what happens. I feel like that was like the longest part of this video and I like literally had two things. <laughs> so the next place that I went to is Charlotte Ruth. And I love their little bags. They're like, you are amazing. Remember that. Oh my gosh, that's so crazy. Okay, so uh, again, I only bought two things from Charlotte Ruth. But, um, the shirt, I want to say, what ended up being on sale, I guess, because I only paid $16, but both of them said they were $10, like the tags. So the pants ended up being $10, and then the top ended up being $5. So I only paid $16.25. So that's a good deal, you know? Um, I bought these pants. They're just some basic gray sweatpants. They like come in at the bottom and they're just really like, they're really comfortable. They have like side like zipper pockets. A little bit rough to open. Oh, they're fake. <laughs> they're fake zipper pockets. Uh, they So they don't have pockets, but I don't really care about that. Um, but yeah, this is what they look like. They like the stretchy band. They have the tie, which does come untied, and you can tie it or loosen it or whatever. Um, so yeah, this is what they look like. Super cute and really comfortable. I don't have um, I don't have a lot of sweatpants anymore. I used to have. I used to have a lot of them, but then I ended up getting rid of a lot of them because I was like trying to stop being so like bummy. But now I don't have any. I only have like one pair of gray sweatpants and they're like more for like winter. They're not really for like just everyday wear, you know? Um, so now I have those. And this next one, I was like so excited when I got it. And so, a little backstory as of course there is with everything that I buy of a little backstory um I am half Latina and I'm half white my dad is white my mom is Hispanic and therefore I am half but I grew up with my mom so I feel like Although on the outside, I'm very white and sometimes I can talk very white. I, am, I know that, but I feel like I really am. But I know that even if you can't see it on the outside, I am a Latina and I embrace that part of me and I'm very supportive and I just love my Mexican heritage and I love my Hispanic like upbringing I just 
love it all and I embrace it. Both sides just make me who I am, but people never believe me that I'm like half Mexican and I'm like, or that I'm half like Hispanic and I'm like, people, like I know who I am. I know who I grew up with, you know, like I, I know where I came from people like, so get it together okay like i'm just saying but i was so excited when i bought this and i can't wait to wear it and defend myself and say yes i am and if you have anything to say about it don't say anything because i don't care so i bought this shirt and it says latina and i'm like so excited i'm like oh my god i can't wait to wear it i can't wait to wear it it's like so cute like i can even just see it now it's like i love it so cute and it's just a basic um just a basic black t-shirt but it is so soft it is like the softest thing ever so cute the next place that i went to is rue 21 so actually the one like non-clothing thing that i bought there was this wallet just has like the butterflies on it and that's something that's like really special to me because my grandmother who passed away she loved butterflies so now every time I see something with butterflies I usually usually will get it um but yeah it's pretty big wallet and it just has like the little wristlet part and this was $8.99 the next thing I got was this little top this was $10 and it just has these sunflowers on it oh, and it's so cute i just love it it's like adorable i just love it so so much and it's just like a little strapless um top so i would probably wear it like i'm wearing this one like with a black t-shirt underneath or like a white t-shirt or something um unless i had like a jacket to put over it and then i would probably wear it like that so one of the two this shirt is just like so unbelievably me i love it <laughs> and it is this shirt and it says don't be so dramatic me <laughs> i mean if you if you don't know me know me like then you'd be like why do you like what's wrong with you like why do you think that's so amazing but if you know me then you're like girl that is so you because i'm very dramatic unintentionally just me it's just my personality i'm very dramatic but i also say this all the time to people like my mom like my mom i say it to her all the time because she's very dramatic and so i'm like oh my gosh you're so dramatic or stop being so dramatic like i say that all the time but it's also me so i love this was like so cute and i really wanted it i got it in like a 1x because i really want it to be oversized like that's how i wear my t-shirts all the time i wear them like to go to sleep or whatever like i just wear them really big with like some shorts or whatever and then this shirt was $18.99 and then i just got this um white bodysuit um i have i have black ones and stuff i have uh two black bodysuits and then now i have this white one and i just like to use them as like undershirts for tops that maybe go too low or um just as like layering pieces or whatever like you know it's just it's a good thing to have especially if i like want that like tucked in look and i don't want anything like coming up out of like coming undone or whatever the last two stores this next one i went to target and i got these um i have i showed one in one video i had gotten a white this well this specifically this white top i had gotten it but i had accidentally got it in it got it in an xl and i had the one i had one in black before that and i had gotten it unintentionally i think in an xxl but i loved the way that it fit because i liked it it was more loose but then i ended up getting the white one in an xl and i didn't really like how it fit i thought it just fit too tight and i just i just didn't like the look i just didn't think it was very cute on me on me okay calm down so i bought this one 
I bought it again, but I bought it in XL because I ended up getting rid of the other one. So I bought this in an XL, an XXL, and um, it looks like it's gonna fit pretty well. And I love it, it's like super wide and clean. It just looks so pretty. And then um, I ended up buying the reddish, like maroon one too. Um, I just think it's like, they're really cute. They're really simple. They're very basic, but they work really well, you know? And they're both only $5. And then I ended up getting um, these like really basic, just black masks. It was like two for $5. And it comes like a pack of two or whatever. And um, I always, like I have some masks, but they're like print, they're like printed. So they have like, you know, different things on them and sometimes they just don't go with my outfits you know so like if I have these really basic ones then they'll go with my outfits. The very last store that I went to is Ross. So um I got I found this shirt and it doesn't say that it has anything to do with Selena like it doesn't have her picture or anything but I feel like if you're in Texas and you see this like you're gonna be like oh I love your Selena shirt you know and it's a shirt that says como la flor so cute and then it has the um roses on the back so so cute it's like a little crop top but it's in an extra large and it was $8.99 and I was like I need it I need it so I got it <laughs> and then I was so excited I think this is so cute I bought this little spaghetti shop shirt with like this little sunflower on the front and it's like uh this like gray ribbed like tank top or whatever so again, I feel I would wear it with like, you know, a black shirt underneath or a white shirt or whatever. Or unless I had, again, like a jacket or something that I could put over it, then I would probably wear it. Or if I'm just at my house, like in front of nobody or whatever, you know, then I would just wear it by itself. But in front of, you know, the public, like I'd wear something underneath because my arms are just not cute. But... So the last thing I got are these pants and this is very, very like out of my comfort zone, very different from anything I've ever gotten. Like <laughs> they're, they're very out there for me. It's very in style, it's trendy, all that stuff. Um, I believe, <laughs> I don't even know. People might be like, girl, those are not trendy, but I feel like they are so I bought these pants because I was like I don't know like I, I really needed more pants so I was like okay like I'm gonna try them out I want to see how they look on me I always 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 have loved like the cargo pant look I've just never been able to try it out for myself because I've just been like too scared and think I could pull it off or whatever but now I was like you know what like I'm 25 I don't care too too much what people think anymore you know sometimes I do but most of the time, I'm like, I don't care. So I was like, I'm finally going to try them out at 25. <laughs> Probably when I shouldn't be trying them out. But um, they just have like the attached like belt. And then they have like the like pockets on the side. And then they like cuff at the bottom. That was like the big seller was with the cuff at the bottom. So they're just these camo cargo pants. And they have like pockets on both sides again. Um, they cinch at like the bottom or whatever and I just can't wait to try them you know like I feel like they're gonna be so cute with like just a basic you know a black just a basic black top or even like even one of these tops you know like you could do like this together or you could do like this together or even with like this black top like you just do so many different things you know what I mean so that's what I want to do I want to try it out if, if I can't force myself to actually wear them outside of the house then I will probably get rid of them but I want to try I want to try and wear them um, just because it's something different and I've been in a little bit of a style rut. So excited. I got so many great things. Um, I really, really feel like I did good in the way of 
I got a lot of stuff that I really liked. I got a lot of stuff that I had been looking for to kind of up my style or to, um, maybe not up my style, but to give it a different feel. And um, it's something that I had been wanting to do. So I didn't just go hog wild and just buy random stuff that I just liked individually. Like I tried to think about Oh, we're not gonna do that. Keep trying to think about what I can pair with them. If I have things in my closet that I can pair with them, or if um, you know, I can make some kind of outfit out of them. Like I'm still trying to put outfits together and do that kind of stuff. So um, I feel like I got a lot of really good things to be able to do that, you know. And hopefully, I can do some kind of like outfit video or something like that like I don't know if people want to see that from me so I really hope you guys enjoyed that video um if you do want to see some kind of styling video from me definitely let me know I would be so happy to do it um even if you don't let me know because I know there's like three people that watch my videos <laughs> one of them being me <laughs> you know so I'll let myself know if I want to do it or whatever, but um, if you do want to see those videos from me, just let me know down in the comments below. That'd be great. Um, get some engagement in there. And uh, definitely like this video, subscribe if you haven't, and um, share this channel with a friend if you think that they would like my videos, if you guys have ideas for my videos. I am totally open to them, so just let me know. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it, and uh, I'll see you back next time. Bye! <laughs>